down here real quick. And I want half of you guys to be in that line right there, and then half of you guys to be in a line right here. Just break up evenly. So the first thing I always like to do is, and I'll show you why we do this real quick, but basically you guys, all I want you to do is you got the ball and you're, you're gonna have a, you can do a one-on-one -on -one move, triple threat read, anything. For you guys, you guys are gonna do a one-on-one -on -one move. So you can do a crossover, a two-way, behind the back, doesn't matter. You do something. You take one additional dribble, and then you're gonna throw a one-handed, left-handed baseline drift pass to me, okay? So I'm gonna be spotted up in the corner. Just for the sake of this real quick, I want you to do it. So once you make the move, you get one dribble, and then it has to be a one-handed left-hand pass to me in the corner, okay? I'm gonna have you guys just demonstrate. You ready? Go, good. One dribble pass. Good, it's good, perfect. One dribble after that. It's good, hit me, hit me, hit me. Perfect, perfect, it's good. Hit me, hit me, good. It's all right, keep going, keep going. Good, hit me. Good, and stop. So these guys did pretty good, and you guys can see kind of just the natural ability to pass the ball with your weekend drift is hard. Um, I didn't let the balls go and hit the coaches right there, but out of respect, a couple of them just throw it a little higher, a little left. Make sure that when they're really going, they're exploding, so they can get all the way down to that baseline on that one dribble and then go. The only other thing we're gonna add, you guys are gonna pass me the ball. So before you go, you're gonna pass, which initiates the drill. You'll go hard, make that one move, go ahead. You'll drift to the corner, sprint down there for a catch and shoot jumper, pass up. Once you pass the ball, you're gonna make a curl around the other side, so you'll curl right there. Boom, I'm gonna hit you for a catch and shoot, knockdown. Then you'll hit me, and the next people will go the exact same thing. You good? All right, we're gonna do this for two minutes. We're gonna see how many we can make. You guys count out to minutes. Go. Good, here we go. You guys should be making about 15 a minute. 15 a minute. Here we go, come on. Count out when you hit. Count out when you hit. Curl, 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 curl. Right now. Let's go, let's go. Come on. One. Here we go, curl, curl, curl. curl. Good, hit me. Go, go, go. Good, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good, curl. Next up, next up, let's go. We're at one still. We're at one still. Curl, curl, on 13. Good, go, next up, two. Come on, come on, come on. Go, let's go, curl, curl, curl. Go ahead, hit, hit go. Red two, red two. Come on, we should be in 15 a minute, 15 a minute. 15 a minute, if a good team's going, they're getting at least 15. Come on, good, three, four. Nice, come on, keep curling, keep curling. Good, five, we got five, curl, here we go, hit. Perfect, come on, hit that. Come around, nice job. Good, hit, 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 right here. Good, keep going, keep going, come on, keep going. Knock it down, yep, that's all right. We go two more rounds, and they got to take the drill. Let's go, next one. Perfect. Last one, last one, last one. Knock down, and just so you guys know, you guys can add a big guy, if you guys have big guys, you can put them on the block right here, and when they drive, you can have another coach here, so I would hit the coach there. When he drives, you can eye cut, have the coach pass it to them so you get your big guys involved as well. The next row we got one, uh, two lines right here. I need a person without a basketball in the front of each line. I need a person with, with a basketball behind. And then I need two guys down here. Two guys down here. So uh, you can, yep, let me see that ball. You're good, you're gonna be right here. And I need you right here. You don't need a basketball. Everybody else behind should have a basketball, okay? Simple pin down drill, this is another drill that I love doing just to get you guys warmed up. You guys are just gonna sprint wide, set a simple pin down screen right here. So you're gonna set a pin down screen over there. Gonna set it about right here on the second hash. You guys are gonna use it. Now, the first time you go through, you're gonna curl. So you're just gonna be yelling, curl, 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 catch and shoot. Last time you go through, you're gonna pop, which means if you set that screen real quick on me, first off on a curl, what you wanna do is you wanna catch it on your outside foot and then push past it and explode in to get more separation. So instead of just catching inside foot where most people go here and catch inside foot, now I'm right here, I like to catch on almost the outside foot and explode through so you get more separation. Second one's gonna be a pop, which means I'm gonna get my inside foot over top of the screen and then I'm gonna pop out, catch, and separate. That's the second one. And the third one is gonna be a pop, same exact thing, catch the ball, and it's gonna be a rip into a one dribble, little floater, teardrop over the defender, okay? Screeners become the shooters. Shooters get your own rebound go to the back of the opposite line. We ready? You guys gotta talk on what you're doing. You're gonna rotate those three. Go. Curl, 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 curl. Start talking, guys. Start talking. Go. Next up, let's go. Once you pass, go. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Everybody should do curl first time through. Second time through is gonna be pop. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Once you pass, screen. Good, now it's a pop, now it's a pop. Here we go, keep going. Now it's a pop. You gotta talk to your pastor. Good, good. Pop, pop, pop. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Good. Get that inside foot over top the screen. Get that inside foot over top the screen. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Go screen. Go screen. Go screen. Good. Pop. Inside foot over top the screen and pop. Good. Now we got one dribble downhill for the floaters. Here we go. Pop. One dribble downhill. Perfect. Perfect. Teardrop. Teardrop. Here we go. Right over that secondary defender down there. Rip through. One dribble. Float. Good. Nice. One dribble. Float. Good. Couple more. Couple more. Perfect. Last one. Last one. Good, you guys can go right back to curls. Right back to curls. And stop. So obviously you can add tons of different reads. That's kind of a good rotation to get guys moving. The next thing we got, and I love this drill a lot, is what I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have uh, you two are gonna be partners, okay? And then let me have you two be partners. So you guys come on right here. You guys can keep that basketball right there, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna use inside this uh, three-point line. You two are on defense, so go ahead and guard these guys. You guys can mix, go anywhere around the three-point line. You have to stay inside the three-point line. Inside the three-point line, inside the three-point line. You guys are guarding them. What we're going to do is this is called passing box drill. You can use a three-point line. You can use a three-point line. You can also use like volleyball lines if the courts have volleyball lines. You guys have to complete ten catches in a row. You're not allowed to dribble, so you're pressuring like crazy. If you step out of bounds, which is three-point line, and it's a turnover, so you probably want to get a little bit more in since you have room. You've got to get open, just like in a regular game, if it's a five-second call, it's a five-second call. There's one rule, besides obviously no stepping out of bounds, no over-top passes, because otherwise your guys will just hold seals like this and throw them over the top. So I've got to pass, once I pass, I've got to get open, boom, because I'm not allowed to do this. So I've got to break open and catch it here, or I've got to be able to break open and catch it here when he's throwing it there. we got to try to get 10 catches in a row. You four, you two are going to be partners, and then you two are going to be partners. You guys are going to go down there. Just make your teams up. So 11 and 13, you guys are team. You two are team. You got the ball first. Hey, if the defense knocks the ball out of the three-point line, then it's the defense's ball. Okay? You ready? Try to get 10 catches in a row. Go. Good. Turnover. Out of bounds. Turnover. Out of bounds. Go. Give it to the other team. Oh, turnover. Oh, oh. You're out of bounds. That's a turnover. Another ball. Good. Here we go. Keep it going. Got to get 10 in a row. Go. One. Two. Go out of bounds, turnover. Can't step out of bounds, just like the game. One. Go ahead, turnover. Out of bounds. Guys, this is the out of bounds. Come on. One. Good. Two. Keep it going, keep it going. Three. Good. Four. Nice. Five. Go, go, go. Handle the pressure, the huge steal that everybody's got to have. Six. Seven. Three more. Three more. Good. Turnover. That's all right. All right, and stop. You guys see that drill right there. It's hard for players to get 10. We keep going until they get 10. Normally, you put like six minutes on the clock, and they can really get after it. Next drill we got is going to be very simple, okay? The next drill is you guys come down here. And this is kind of a pass and move. Most of the time, we don't work on kind of passing and cutting in a minute. So I'm going to have three guys. We have one guy right here with the ball, one guy right there without the ball, and one guy right there without the ball. And you, you can just step off. Now, obviously, you have another line. What we're going to do is in 30 seconds, we're going to see how many reversals we can get. And at the end of 30 seconds, I want you guys scoring a layup with like two seconds left on the clock. So basically, I'm going to be counting down just because we don't have the clock rolling. But here's all it's going to be. It's going to be pass. And you can step. Stay there. Stay there. Wait on the screen. I'm going to come screen you. So you're going to set up your cut. Boom. And then use the screen and pop open. I'm going to immediately pop out. When you reverse the ball here, you do the same thing. Sprint, bang, go. I'm hitting, bang, hit, go. And I'm setting up my cut and go. We're going to do that, and at the end of 30 seconds, I'm just going to start counting down. Seven, six, five. You guys keep going and flow. We're going to try to score the ball over the rim with two seconds left. We're going to see how many times you guys can get rotations. You guys are going to count just the rotations in a 30-second period. You ready? Go. Good. Four rotations. Four rotations. That's one. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Once the ball comes back up, that's two. Here we go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Good. Set up your cuts. Set up your cuts. Set up your cuts. Keep it going. Keep it going. Come on. That's three right there. Keep it going. Move faster, 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 faster. Good. Seven, six, five. Keep going. Keep moving. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Now, obviously, they don't have no clock manage yet. But basically that last person should have curled, try to get to the rim, 
they score. Because we're trying to score with maybe two, three seconds left on the shot clock. They haven't done that before. I'm going to let three more guys go real quick. So you guys understand, we should be laying the ball up with two seconds left. So if you curl on that last one, there's five seconds. You're taking one drill trying to get downhill. Go. Good. Move it, move it, move it. I'm going to start you guys early. Keep it going, keep it going. Move it, move it, move it, move it. Keep it going, keep it going. Good. Set it up. Perfect. Keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Nice. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Good. Keep it moving. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. So that's how it should be right there. That was perfect. Okay? Good job. Next thing I need is I need everybody to have a basketball. Okay? This is a finishing drill I like. I call it chaos finishing. You guys are all going to be in a line right down here. Single file line, single fail line. Here's what you're going to do you're going to get two dribbles going out. One dribble back to start. So two dribbles out, so I go one, two. I gotta get one foot outside the three point line. I sprint in to finish, and I finish with my weak hand. As soon as I lay the ball up, I'm gonna get the ball, go straight up to the top of the key, and the next person's gonna go. So we're gonna have two people finishing. Then you get the ball, you go to the third spot. So basically, you're going first. You're gonna go up there, come back, finish it with your weak hand. Get the ball in the net, up there, come back, finish it with your weak hand. Up there, come back, finish it with your weak hand. Then you're gonna go to the back of the line. Okay, I'm gonna be sending the next guy when I think he's ready. You ready? Go, go, go. Good, good. Nice, go, go, good. You ready? Go, 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 good. Go, 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 good. Now we got chaos in there. Go. How many missed layers are we gonna have? How many missed layers? Go. That's one. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Go. Good. That's two missed layers. Good. That's three. Come on. Keep going. Go, go, go. Keep going. Good. Finish up the traffic. Four. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Go, go, go. Finish with those weeks, finish with the week, finish with the week. Good, go. Nice, good, six, good, keep going. And stop. I love this drill just to get them loose and get them going. The next thing is finishing is a realistic one. We started to do this yesterday. Let me get two of you guys right here. One with a basketball without a basketball. Two of you guys up here, one with a basketball without a basketball. And the other four can go down there and do the exact same thing. Here's the drill. This guy's got the basketball. He's facing the baseline. You're right behind him. Your foot is going to be right behind his foot. You're dribbling the ball. Okay? You're going to have your hand on his hip and get ready to shove him as much as you can over to that recycling bin. Okay? You're dribbling. You're low. You're dribbling. You're ready. Your foot is going to be right on the inside. All I'm going to do is I'm going to say go. When I say go, you're trying to throw him there. When I say go, you're trying to get this foot over top and then run to the front of the rim and then finish on either side. Okay? So you're ready to get lower and lower. I want you to really throw it. Go! Good, and finish. Perfect, that's your buckle. Ready? Same thing, dribble, he gets a little advantage. Go! Good, finish that. Nice, and then we go other side, same thing, dribble. Go! Good, finish it. Good, perfect, that's stuff. Good, go! Good, you guys can do that same thing right down there. Go! Good, finish the trap, rotate off this defense. Go! Good, finish some of these right there. Perfect, go! Nice job, finish that. That's okay. Dribble down, go! Good, finish it. Perfect, go. Nice job, nice job. You ready up? Go. Perfect, perfect. Good, dribbling, go. Nice, you ready? Dribbling, go. Perfect, one more each. Go. Good, last one. Go. Good, and stop. For the sake of the drill, I'm just gonna keep flying through these so I know that we're not doing them as long as we would. But I wanna just give you guys a ton of ideas. Some of them are gonna be something that you like, some of them are gonna be something you might not ever use. I'm totally fine with that. Next one we got right here, and this is huge, uh, just because I, I'm gonna show you what two people would do. And, and this is my number one thing, that if we can get this accomplished, this next little segment, then I think you're gonna have really good player development. And what it's gonna be is, let me have you come up here, and let me have you be as partner number eight. So this is say we have four people on the court. We can do this. It uh, doesn't matter. You're going to be uh, the shooter number six in there. And number 11, you have the ball. You, you guys, just you four, just back up real quick. So you got the ball right here. Okay? Here's what the drill is going to be. You guys are going to start down low. And you're going to use a pin down. So the first one we're going to do is you're going to sprint up, catch and shoot a curl. Bang. Catch. Knock down. Second one you're going to do is you're going to do a curl one dribble. So you'll get to your own rebound. You'll hit and you'll curl, one dribble. This time you catch the ball, keep it off your chest, throw the ball out, get somewhere. That's the second one. The third one you're gonna do is a one dribble floater. So you catch the ball, keep it off your chest, 
band, a little floater right there. That's the third one. Fourth one, you're gonna pop, look. You're gonna pop, so just like you did, catch and shoot. And then the fifth one is catch, rip, one dribble, pull up baseline, those five. You've gotta make two of each of the five shots. So we got a 10 shot drill. So basically you do curl until you make two of them. Then you go to curl, one dribble, pull ups. Then you go to curl, one dribble, pop, uh, floaters. Then you go to pop, then one dribble, baseline is the fifth one. We go with those five reads. What you guys are gonna do is you guys are gonna just basically pass the curve to keep count. You guys have to fly through this drill, okay? In the, with 10 shots, you should be able to get this in 90 seconds if you're rebounding on your own. So we're gonna do it 90 seconds here, starting once that 47. You guys can have two shooters go right now. If you guys want to, so you can do the drill as well. Come on, go. Good. Once you shoot it, knock it down, get it, go. One and one. You guys keep track for it. Keep track, come on, go, 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 go. Stop. You gotta catch and shoot two. Catch and shoot two. Now you're on one dribble pull up. You're on the catch and shoot still. Good. Here we go. Come on, come on. Try to get in 90 seconds. Let me see if one person can get in 90 seconds. Come on, come on. Was that three right there? Good. Keep it going, keep it going. Nice. Four right there. Come on, get your floaters. Get your floaters. One dribble downhill. Float. Good. Five. Come on. Come on. Ah, that's okay. One more. One more. Come on. Ninety seconds is a good like high school score. If you're doing NBA stuff, they should try to get in one minute. Good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Come on. We got forty seconds left for that for that original goal. We got forty seconds left for that original goal. Come on. Nice. Hit that. Hit that. Good. That's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. 24 seconds. 24 seconds. Come on. Knock it down when you're tired. Good. How many more you got? You got two more. You got 15 seconds. Come on. We need these. Come on. We need these. Good. Let's see. Somebody can finish. You got eight seconds. Seven seconds. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, and stop. Anybody finish down here? So they were pretty close. You can see that's a good number for probably S level players. Like I said, NBA guys are trying to get that one minute, so you can adjust accordingly. Some girls you might add another 15 seconds to just because a lot of times they don't like to sprint after the rebound as much as guys will when they're competing. Now the other people are not going to do the same drill because I want to just throw out drill after drill. What you guys are going to do ball screen reads. We're going to act like there's an imaginary screener somewhere around here. Okay, so you guys need to use your imagination. Say you're my screener real quick to set that screen test the ball. What you guys are going to have is you guys are going to have five different reads. Your first one is going to be a pocket jump shot. The rule is going to be every single time you're going to back down, pop open, just open your hips, open your hips, pocket jump shot. Get the pocket, knock down. That's shot number one. Shot number two is you're going to be here, pop open, this time we're going to come off the screen, wrap it to space, and then knock down. That's number two, a tight wrap. Number three is going to be an inside out. So you pop open, come off, inside out, bang, float, and knock it down. That's number three. Number four is you're going to act like the guy's hedging out, and you're going to come here, float back, and go. Again, if you don't have it perfect, I could care less. And then number five is you're going to reject the screen. So you're going to start to use the screen, bang, reject the screen, come off, and then knock it down. Those five, here's the only difference. Your partner is rebounding for you this time. Partner is rebounding for you. You still have to back down and go off. This time you're trying to get it in 75 seconds. Partner's rebounding. We got that, so pocket jump shot, tight wrap, inside out after the screen, then after that, you're going to do the float back and go, the top pop, and then you're going to do the reject. We get on those five. If you don't know what you're doing, just make something up, okay? You ready? Go. Pocket jump shots first. Good. 75 seconds. Come on, pocket jump shot. Nice. Good. Once you do pocket jump shots, you got the tight wrap. Once you knock down two pocket jump shots, you got the tight wrap. Good. Let's go, fellas. Let's go, fellas. Let's go, fellas. Good. Nice. Come on, come on, pop. Good. Knock down, knock down. That's all right, come on. Hit these, hit these. We got the tight wrap after we got it. Good, we got the tight wrap after we got pocket phase. Good. After the tight wrap, we got inside outs. After we got the tight wrap, we got inside outs, fixing the nail. Good. Keep it 
That's all right. Keep it going, keep it going. Good. Right in a minute right now. I'm gonna give you guys a minute 30. Just because you guys haven't done these reads yet. So we got 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. Come on. Good. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Good. Nice in and out. Good in and out. Now you got the float back. Now you got the float back. Good. Now you got the float back. Good. It's okay. Good. 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Good. Go back. Go back. Good. Let's try. Pop back. Go. Yes. And go. Yes. And time. As you guys can see, and, and this is just so the players know, I know that you guys haven't perfected the reads. That's okay. Okay, obviously we'd work on the reads first, we'd be able to do all the stuff, and then they'd actually master them. For the sake of time, I just want to show you guys drill after drill and give you some scores. You can see right now, we haven't got one yet, as far as the numbers go, but that's what you want to do, is you want to make it full speed where they're going, so they're tired, they're fatigued. That's what game like shooting is. Game like shooting is not just shoot one shot, go back to the line. Most of the time, they're going to be, their fatigue is going to hit, and they're going to have to kind of battle through that. The next thing we got, again, this is a, a drill I like a lot. You guys are all going to be right here, okay? And it's going to be simple drill. So what we're going to do is we're going to have, we're all in line, so everybody's got a basketball as well. And then everybody just get behind me in this line. What I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to toss you the ball. When I toss you the ball, it's going to be very simple. I'm either going to have my hand low, sort of like this, and you're going to rip over top. Or I'm going to have my hand high, and you're going to duck underneath. So I'm just going to go like this. It'll be a simple toss. If I go here, duck under. Bang. Simple enough, right? If I go like this, here, rip over top. Once we do that, you guys, the first time through, everyone's going to go in and do some kind of finishing move. I don't want you just to do a layup. Okay, so you can do a floater off the glass, you can do a euro step, you can do a pro hop, you can do anything you want besides a regular layup. Okay? The second time through, you're going to have to do something in the mid range, which means you're going to beat me over the top, and then you're going to have to do like a stop or a pullback, bang, or a extra step pullback where you get more separated. You have to do something in the mid range to basically knock down a mid range shot, but not just a pull up dribble. Something that gets me going, okay? So inside out, bump off something. And then the third time, what you're gonna do is I want you to rip through. This time, you're gonna get to the mid range, stop, hesitate, change directions, and finish. Doesn't have to be what I just did. It can be something where you guys might over top of the rip, boom, pull back, and then float and go. But I just want you to be able to change directions and then finish it in the midline. We go with those three? Here we go. Good, on top. Good. Oh, good. Good. Over top. Good. Good. Over top. Oh, over top. My hands low. You're hot. Good. Down low. Bang. Good. Perfect. Come on. Good. Over top. Nice. Come on. Over top. Good. Here we go. Good. Nice. Good. Over top. Good. Over top. Good. Get low. Get low. Good. Here we go. Good. Over top. Nice. Get low. Get low. Come on. Over top. Nice. Over top. Good. You get that mid range good, bang, come on. Nice, hold up, perfect, change of direction. Oh, my hands high, go low. Good, here we go. Nice, go to top. Perfect, good, perfect. Nice, good. Your first one, right? Perfect. Good finish right there. So that's the first thing we do. Now the second thing we're gonna do is it's gonna be a little bit more realistic. I'm gonna have you guys partner up. So the guy behind you, so you set the ball down, you set the ball down, you set the ball down, you set the ball down. Here's what the drill is. I'm right here, I'm your partner, so you're gonna be right on my side, okay? What you're gonna do is you got the ball, and you're just gonna drop the ball in front of him. Okay, drop the ball in front. So it's here, drop. Now obviously in the game, this is where you're gonna be at a lot, right on the side. So when you drop the ball in front, now we're alive. I don't want you cheating, kind of going with the ball. You're gonna let him have an advantage. You have to make a decision, can you finish? Or do you have to go pull back, result in mid range? Or do you go pull back to results in a change of direction? So if I go here and you're sprinting on my hip, I probably want to finish it, right? If I go here and I'm trying to cheat the drill and go there, I might sprint, boom, you might pull back, get something right there. Or I might get you with a boom, you start to sprint, pull back, hey, I see you, and then you have to change direction. Okay? So your defender right here, get a little bit on the side, like right there, you got the ball. You're a little bit over. You want a little bit of distance so they can't cheat. So 
a little bit over. Right there, you ready? Go, pass, go. Good, finish it, perfect, next up. Good, pass, go, go. Good, finish it, nice. Put up, sit back, sit back, I don't want you in front. I want you even, even, right there. Go, good, good, don't lean up that bed for a layup. Who's up, who's with you, who's with you? Good, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, there you go. That's what I want right there. You guys be even, even, so like this guy is here, that guy's there, and then pass him right here. Yeah, that's where I want right there. That's how it should be right there, because that's game one. Go right there, go. Good, right there, go. Nice, good. That's what happens in the game. Good, go, good, tap. Nice, perfect, good. Tap, tap, tap. Nice, good stop, good stop. Good, okay, good, go, go, go. Perfect, perfect, good, go. Nice, tap. Nice job, that's okay. Good, go. Good change of direction, finish it. Good, next up. Go. Nice. Perfect. Good. That's okay. It's the game line. Go. Good. Good. Here we go. Next up. Go. Nice. Good. That's okay. Go. And stop. So you can see these kind of drills when you progressively build up. You can see kind of the finishing rate goes down, the mid range goes down. I would highly encourage including competitive stuff in your guys' workouts. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a ball screen game. So you got the ball, you guys are all on a single line right here, okay? I'm going to be the screener. Most of the time you'll have a coach with a pad right here. I'm just going to screen just because I don't want to use a pad, but I'm going to screen. What's going to happen is 13, you're guarding 11. And will you take my spot real quick so you just kind of, yep, right there, stand low and wide, okay? I'm going to take it to a certain size. This guy's going to take it to a certain size. He's going to stay within the middle third, and then he's going to say, screen, screen, screen. You're good right there. I'm going to stay right there. I'm just going to change my angle from there. What he has to do is he has to use a screen. If I come off right here, he cuts me off, I can try to reject. If I reject, I can go score at the rim. I can do whatever I want. If he plays me too much into the screen, so say he plays me on this side, and I split through before the screen, I can go get a layup as well. There's two rules. Number one is if he trails, so if he trails behind me, I cannot score in the paint. So I have to do a pocket jump shot, I have to tight wrap, I might have to hold it for a second and then separate off for a jump shot, but I can't get in the paint if he goes over top. Rule number two is if he goes under the screen, so say you go there and you go under the screen to cheat, then I can either turn the corner or I can get one re-screen. So basically the only two rules are if he goes under, you get a re-screen, or if he goes over, you're not allowed to go in the paint. Make enough sense? If you try to use the screen and he beats you over top of the screen, so like I'm here, you're guarding him, you use the screen and don't reject it and he beats you this way, drill's over, because that means he didn't do his job. So they don't get to play one-on-one -on -one over there. We don't want to reward them because players love playing one-on-one. -on -one. They don't want him in the screen, they don't reject it, they don't split before, it's completely done. We understand you can go either side too. You gotta talk to me because I'm not gonna set the screen until you say screen, okay? Go. Good, I got you. Good, perfect. Go, done. Didn't run him into the screen. Good, I'm here. Good, good, good. That's right, here we go, next up. And you guys can see this is what I'm talking about. How many players know how to get, use the screen? Done. Guys, hey, no. We are playing one on one and you've got an extra guy. You're playing two on one right now. There's no way possible we shouldn't be getting layups. Come on, run him in the screen. Good, good, there you go. Now get a re if you want it. Get a re if you want it. Perfect, good job. That was actually a good possession right there. Here we go, good. I got you, use it, use it, use it. Good, that's all right. Good, on the screen, get one re -screen. Good, and done, 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 two many drums. Good, here we go. This is the ball screen game that I would definitely recommend. Good, cut you off, reject, yes, perfect. That's what we want right there. That's a great job. Great job. Come on. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Done, 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 done. Two dribbles. Good. Come on. Come on. Good. Done, done, done. Two dribbles. Here we go. I'm here. I'm screening for you. I'm screening for you. Nice job. Good. Nice job. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Nice. Good job. Don't score the lane. He goes over the top. Can't score the lane. Come on. Nice reject. Good. And stop. Now the reason I do this drill, and you guys saw this, if you've never done this before, you guys see that why ball screens don't work at many levels. 
because ball screens require players to be able to run their guy into the screen. If they can't do that, they can't run a ball screen. So if I was their coach, all I would do if they run a ball screen, I don't know if they run a motion or what you guys offense, but if they ran a ball screen, all I would do is just drill until they can just run their person in. Because if I'm here and say he's screening and you're guarding me, I'm not worried about flying off of this. I'm just here. You're guarding. Go ahead, guard me. I'm here. I'm here. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, now I run. And you see that this little change of speed, I was walking. I was I have a thing in my pocket, and I easily got him to go under the screen. That's what good point guards, that's what good ball handlers do. So that's a great drill to work on it. Now we're gonna do the same thing. You set the screen, and you're gonna be facing the basket. You're underneath the basket real quick, and we have you guard him real quick, and stand down the court real quick. You're gonna be on offense. So five is on offense, 11 is on defense. One screener scooting a little bit. Yep, right there. I'm the passer. Here's, the, here's what it is. You've gotta get open on his screen. If you don't get open right here, so obviously you can have back door, you can do whatever. If you don't get open on the screen, then you've got one more chance. So he guards you, you come over, I'm gonna nudge if I was you, and try to get him going there. Say you don't get open. All you're gonna do is pop back to the corner, flip the screen, flip the screen. And now you get one wide pin down. Now you're gonna set him up, either go back door or use the screen and try to get a wide pin down. So your angles are gonna be, and I'm gonna set these screens anyway, but they'd be here, or basically your butt, or your chest is to the rim, butt is to where you want them to go in that hollow area. And then when you flip it, I'm just naturally flipping it right there, put my butt's basically open where they want them to go. So I'm gonna be the screener, you can be the passer, so the next person else can be the passer. You get two chances to get open. If you don't get open, you don't get a shot. If you do get open, go ahead and shoot it. You can curl it, one dribble floater, or anything you want. We good? Here we go, go. Good, good, nice, nice, curl. Good. That's right, and okay, stop. Now, he did a great job of getting open. You should just curl that, you know what I mean? Get to the lane, that's okay, that's your butt. So everybody's down here, let's just have uh, one guy pass it, and then you guys can rotate up who passes it. So everybody down here, yep, we're gonna have two guys pass it, that's fine, everybody else is down here. Okay, and then we'll rotate up who those guys are. Ready, go, get two chances, go, good. Good, you don't have it, good. That's fine, that's fine, here we go. And if, hey, if they don't have that, oh, hold up, my fault. If they don't get open, let him use the screen again the second time. Yep, here we go, go. Good, use it, use it. Good, go, good. That's fine, finish it. Good, done. Come on, come on, come on, use it, use it, use it. Nice, good, don't have it, use it, use it again, use it again. Nice job, good job, that's good action right there. Good action right there. Next up, next up. Good, use it, nice, good. Don't have anything, use it, yep, perfect. Good, now we're using screens, now we're using screens, good job. Good, use it, use it. Nice, curl it, finish it. Good, good, come on. Use it, use it, use it. Nice, come on, curl. Nice job, finish it. Good job, baby, good job. You guys are doing really good, really good. Come on, good, don't have anything, come on, come on. Nice, good, hit that. Really good, nice job, man, stop. You can see they did really good with pin downs. That was awesome, actually, one of the better groups that I've seen. But they can see they were patient, and they started to use their body and were more physical. That's something I would highly encourage is making them do that. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let you guys go live with the, the drill that you guys saw yesterday. So all I need is, I need you two to have basketballs. One of you guys gonna be right here on the baseline. One of you guys over there on the baseline. You're gonna guard him. You're gonna guard him. You two are gonna be right in front of the free throw line, so you're gonna be over there extended. You're over there extended. You two are gonna be right behind them past that little uh, piece of line right here. Okay? And I'm gonna get these balls out of the way just to make sure we're good. Now, you guys are gonna to try to beat all four of them, okay? You've gotta stay within the lane line and the out-of-bounds line. So you're not allowed to cross the lane line, you're not allowed to cross out-of-bounds line. The other thing is you're not allowed to turn your back to no spin moves. Because I want you to handle pressure. So you're guarding me like crazy. Now know what the good news is? You got two other guys helping you. So if you get beat, you're okay. You're not allowed to steal the ball from him, but you are allowed to follow him. So you're allowed to jab him in his shoulders, you're allowed to follow him, whatever you want. I'm here. Hey, he turns, he steals it from me. He stuffs it right back in his chest. Then I'm going, I'm going. He turns me, I get here. Oh, wait, dang, here, pop off. Eventually I beat him. Bang, I beat him, next level's up. He steps up, because you're gonna be the next ball handler, now I'm going one-on-one -on -one against him. You guard the guy until the next guy says ball. Once he calls you off, then you get off, okay? If you funnel him into a trap, so say you're guarding me, and say you turn me this way and you're over here ready, trap him for a second, 
and then say, boom, boom, boom. Now you back up. Just say, feel that pressure of two people guarding. Okay? You guys got to get all the way to half court. Once you get to half court, you're done. Okay? You ready? Go. Good, good. Yeah. Good, good. That's right. Get right back. No turns, no turns. No spinning. No spinning. Good. Good defense. Good. Next person up. Next person up. Next person up. Here we go. Next person up. Throw it up there and go. Throw it up there and go. Rotate up. Yep, right there. Number five. Turn right here. Yep. Good. Stay down. Stay down. Good. Nice. Come on. One more person. One more person. That's okay. Nice job. Stay down. Good, and stop. So that's our next one we would do is just kind of a ball handling drill. Again, I'm just throwing out drills so you guys can kind of see some of the things we do. Next thing we got is a post drill. We got any posts in here? No? Okay, you guys are going to act like you're post. So number 11, you're right here. 13, you're going to guard. And then I'm going to have number, uh, number 6, you're right there. And everybody else just kind of step off and you guys can sit down for a second and grab a drink. So here's the drill that I would do with a post. I think post plays, so most people don't work on post play enough. So I'm gonna be the assistant coach, I'm gonna be over there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start out in the gray area, and you're gonna start out right inside the circle. So you've gotta have one foot inside the semicircle, you gotta be in the gray area, obviously gray area, you can kind of put them depending on how good he is. When you smack the ball, you guys are live, which means you're trying to fight for early position, I'm trying to beat you outside. I have to play behind, so I can't, I don't want to be fronting, I don't want to give up any angles. I want him to work on kind of one-on-one -on -one and doubles. When you enter the ball, he's going to try to score. But what's going to happen is as soon as you pass, you're going to touch the elbow, and then you're going to sprint to double team. If he can score before the double team comes, then he scores. If he scores on this side, he gets two points. He's rewarded with two points, and he gets to stay on offense, make it take it. If the double team comes right here, and he can't score, he's going to have to retreat dribble, and then throw a skip pass, to me, I'll be the coach over there. Once you throw the skip pass, the guy that is doubling steps off the court, and now me and him are one on one. So basically, you throw it over there, act like you did, and then you're flashing. You have to go post up on this side. Again, he has to play behind you. Once you catch the ball, then it's one on one with no double team coming. If you score on this side, you get one point. If you don't score at all, defense becomes offense. The passer becomes the defense, and the guy that was just on offense becomes the passer. Okay, that's the kind of rotation. If he does score, then the passer becomes defense. The defender goes to the passer. So we understand when he claps, you guys meet. You're playing, you're trying to score, but if he doubles you, you got to retreat, dribble, skip. If you skip it to me, he steps off, you're playing one-on-one -on, -one on this side. Okay, ready, go. Snack ball. Yep, go. Good, good, double, double, double. Good, that's okay, double, double. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't be his friend, you're on defense. Yeah, go double the shit out of him. Here we go, go. Go. Good. Double, double, double. Good. Perfect. Nice job. Now, that's what would happen. Number 13, you go on offense. Number 6, you go on defense. 11 becomes a passer. Good. Hey, uh, 6, you gotta have a foot in the, in the key. Yep, we're ready. Go. Good. Close up. Double, double. Nice. Good. He gets to stay on offense. 6, you're the passer. 11, you're on defense. 13, you're on offense. Good. You ready? Go. Good. Good, and stop. Now, this is a guard mentality. Most big guys have patience, so they're not throwing up bad shots like that. So they would actually catch the ball. If they get doubled, they would end up backing up and skipping. So for the sake of this drill, I want you to 11 not try to score on this one. Back it up just so they can see this drill real quick. So 11's on offense, 6 is on defense. Yep. Ready? Go. Good. Catch it. Good. Double. You see it's double coming. Yes. Back up. Skip. Good. Now you're one on one. So flash. Got to go. Get open. Yes. Now you're playing five on one. Good. Nice job. Perfect. And good. That's what the drill will look like. When you have good patience, big guys really get good at sometimes they might even fake the pass and they beat the double because they're trying to score two points on that strong side. Sometimes they'll, you know, funnel the way, but they'll realize if they try to hurry up and score against the double team, then it's probably not a good result. Whereas if they take their time, they'd rather have a one-on-one -on -one on the opposite side because if they score, they get to stay on. So that's one good post drill. One other post drill that I really like is you stay there, uh, 13 year on that block. 
and then six are going to be right underneath the rim. And I love this just as finishing goes. There's one more post thing. This is right here. All it's going to be is you're facing me, you're facing me. I'm just going to toss it to one of them, and they're going to try to score it on you. My rule again, I don't, I don't care if guys foul, so you're allowed to foul the shit out of either one of them. Okay? I, I don't want you to, when they're up in the air, I don't want you to undercut them, but you can smack the shit out of their arms. Ready? Good. Good. Finish it. Finish it. Nice. Good. Next up. Good. Finish it. Perfect. Perfect. Here we go. Same thing. Finish it. Nice. Finish it. Good. I know you can foul harder than that. Good. Get that. Nice. That's how it's going to be in the game. Going through that. Going through that. Good. Go. Finish it. Finish it. Nice. Good. Finish with that one. Make a strong hand. Boom. Finish it. Nice. Perfect. Just like that. One more. Good. Finish it. Good. And stop. I would do some drills like that. Obviously, you can put them in different areas, but any kind of finishing with fouls. Big guys don't like when they get contact and they don't get fouls, so that's another really good drill. Now, I need everybody out here. So here's the drill, the next drill, and, and again, this is a drill that I really like. Uh, you're going to have a ball right there. You're good. Uh, you're uh, Actually, scoot over to that block. You're going to... Yep, you can scoot over the block. Give him the ball. You're going to stay there. 11, you're going to go underneath the rim down there without a basketball. 5, you're going to go with the basketball in this block right here. Let me have uh, two of you guys go on that wing over there. And then two of you guys go on that wing over there. Uh, you don't even need a basketball, number 9. You're behind number 8 without a basketball. Yeah, just let that go. All right, this is one of my favorite drills right here. And what this does is it works on rebounding. Rewards of like getting shots and it's kind of a toughness drill. So what's going to happen is number 13 and you're going to throw the ball to number 8. You're not allowed to travel so if you can throw an outlet pass or an advance pass you can go ahead and throw this up. If you can't get it to them then you're going to have to take a dribble or two and then skip the ball and throw it on the line. Once you pass you're going to sprint down and try to catch a shoot from your range. If you're a three point shooter, ball, 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 ball. Shoot to three. If you're a two point shooter, ball, ball, ball. Shoot to two. Once you shoot, it doesn't matter if you make it or miss it, you're off. Okay? What's going to happen is on the shot, so as soon as you pass the ball, you're crashing, you're blocking out. Whoever gets the rebound becomes the next shooter going down. Okay? That's the only thing that we're doing. So it's basically you pass ahead, you sprint for a full court shot, you shoot the shot, you go to the back of the passing line that you just received it. So once you shoot, it doesn't matter if you make it or miss, you're going to go right behind number 14. Okay? Once you pass it back to him, you're crashing number six, you're blocking out. Whoever gets the rebound down here will be the next shooter. If, if say they're down there and they're still going on, then hold the ball for a second just like you would a game. You wouldn't pass it to somebody that's not ready for it, okay? We good on that? Uh, you got the rock? Simultaneous, go! Both guys at the same time, go! Good, so they're tough. Good, you're going to block out number four, go! Good, whoever gets the rebound, whoever gets the rebound. Good, whoever doesn't get the rebound stays. Whoever doesn't get the rebound stays. Let's go, let's go, let's go, sprint, sprint. Full court shot, nice, nice. Good, whoever gets it, go. Good, whoever gets it, four, you're going, your next shooter. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good. Don't throw bad passes, you can take an extra drill if you need to. Go. Good, get open, get open, get open. Good, let's go, let's go, next up, go. Perfect, pass it up and go, pass it up and go. Good, knock down, knock down. Nice job. Good, get that rebound. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Wait till they go. Yep, now go, now go. Go, keep going, keep going. Now go. Perfect. Go, 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 go. That's what you have to do sometimes. If they're still going on, you just have to have them dribble the ball and just kind of hold it out for a second. Perfect, perfect. Let's go, let's go. Keep going. Nice job. Good job, number six. Waiting on them. Good job. Good. Couple more, couple more. Nice. Good job. Go, 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 go. Good. Nice. Knock down. And stop. That's another drill that I like doing, just kind of mix it up. Next one we're going to do is uh, number 13 and number 6. You guys are a team. I want you guys right down here on the baseline. Okay. Uh, number 4 and number 9, you guys are a team. You guys are an offense with the ball. Number 11 and number 8, you guys are going to be on defense right here, guarding And number four, uh, 14 and 5, you guys are on that baseline without a basketball. So just throw that ball in the soccer net. Something. Okay, here's what it is. It's two on two, basically full court, continuous. You guys are gonna play, so you two are teammates the entire drill, you two are teammates the entire drill, you two are teammates the entire drill, same with you guys. You guys are playing. You guys get one pass in the half court, and you get three dribbles every time you touch the ball. So it's quick. It is not gonna be where you're gonna just play it and get a perfect shot. It is, you got one pass, so you can drive, kick, and then you have to score, okay? Or it's a drive and score right away. 
Once you guys shoot the ball, regardless, make or miss, you don't rebound the ball, what's going to happen is you guys are immediately going to be on defense. They're going to be immediately on offense, okay? There's two variations of this drill. So as soon as you shoot, you guys aren't even worrying about anything uh, as far as defensively goes. You guys are off, okay? You guys immediately go to defense. You guys immediately go to offense, okay? I thought you guys should have a ball. So as soon as you shoot, my fault, they take off and push it, whereas you guys get your own rebound. Okay, does that make sense? That was my fault. On this first variation. The second variation, they don't have the ball. So as soon as they shoot the ball, you guys take off and go. You, these two guys are going to get back on defense. You guys get your own the defensive rebound, and then go out of bounds and wait. Okay? Ready? Go. Go. Attack. Two. Three. Shot. Go. 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 Offense. Go. Attack. Attack. They're in back. Move. Good. 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 Offense. Get back. Offense. Get back. Come on. Get back. Good. Come on. Come on. Good. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Turn over. Let's go. Gotta get back. Good. Playing full court alive. Good. Offense. Get back. Offense. Get back. Good. Don't leave early. Don't leave early. Offense. Don't leave early. Good. Go. 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 Good. Don't leave early. Don't leave early. Nice. Come on. Good. Go. 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 Don't leave early. Now hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold ball real quick. Hold ball real quick. Hold ball real quick. Now some of this comes into just being smart. If your guy's going to lay the ball up, don't just run after them like this. You know they're coming. Get back. Right? Be smart. You know what the next thing is. Uh, you guys, the wings are leaving early. Don't leave early. Okay? We ready? So you guys got to wait until after they shoot the ball. Once the ball hits the rim, you guys can go. Okay? Go. Good. Play it. Nice. Once the ball hits the rim. Once the ball hits the rim, we'll make that one little rule change. Go. Now we're live. Now we're live. Good. Stop the ball. Don't just let it run down your throat. Come on. Come on. Good. You got to score this. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Push it. Hit the rim. Go. Nice. Pick him up. Pick him up. Good. Nice job. Good. Next up. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Pick up the ball. Pick up the ball. Don't let him run it down. Good. And stop. Now, one thing. That's all right. Offense is doing great. Defense is doing horrible. They got to stop the ball. They can't just let them run. Otherwise, they're going to be back when it's over. Now, the second variation, put your ball down number four. Yep, and then I want you two to be on the wings. Go to the wings. You two, you guys are fine playing two on two, so who's your partner? Yep, you guys are on offense right here. You two are going to be on defense. You two set your ball down, and you guys go to the wings as well. This is the second variation. So you're on that little uh, hash mark. You're on that hash mark uh, over there. Just extended hash mark right there, and then you're going to be extended. What's going to happen this time is once you shoot the ball, regardless of make or miss, Defense has to take the ball out of bounds. So it doesn't even matter if they miss it, you still get the rebound and take it out of bounds. Okay? So I shoot the ball, boom, I miss it. You get the ball out of bounds, we have to go sprint and deny number nine and number four. So you two, the offensive guys, have to deny. You guys have to catch the ball in front of us. So you're not allowed to take off no long passes. So the ball has to be caught in front of us. So if we're doing a good job denying and I'm here, bang, you don't have to worry about a long pass. The other thing is, once they inbound the ball, so number one is the wings have to catch the ball in front of you. Number two is there is no overtop passes allowed in the full court. So if you catch the ball, so say uh, number five, you're denying number nine. Say 14, you're denying four. Six will be out of bounds. So actually, full denying. No, 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 no. When you're denying, I want you face guarding like this. Like, we've got to get a stop. We cannot let them get the ball in. If number four catches in front of you, though, let him catch it. 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 Do it again. No, you're okay. Good. Stop. You can't take off and throw that pass. Okay? There's no there's no time in this drill where they can throw it over top. So that you would have to sprint back number five, but again, I want you almost denying the whole thing, so we just work on handling pressure big time. We ended, are we good with that? Okay, let's start out two on two first. Unlimited drills, yeah. Unlimited drills. But it just know that as soon as they shoot, regardless, make or miss. You have to get the ball and take it out of bounds, even if they missed the ball, okay? Here we go, go! Good, attack! Nice, nice, that's okay. Come on, come on. Good, turn over, same thing, same thing, deny, deny, deny! Good, inbound, 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 let's go, let's go! Inbound, good, get open, good! Now deny full court, deny full court, pressure! Good, you can't pass it over top. Good, play in full court, once they shoot it, then you guys take it out. Take it out, deny, deny, deny! deny. Good, get open, get open, get open. Good, catch it, good. Let it denial right there. Let it denial right there. Two on one situation. Good, finish it. Nice, go, deny, deny. You just scored. Good, deny it, deny it, deny it, deny it, deny it. Good, try to get a five second call. Good, that's okay. Good, finish it. Nice, go, deny, deny, deny. Good, deny. Somebody get a five second call in the drill. Good, turn it over. Let's go, keep going, keep it going. Good. Nice, turn, turn. Nice, good job. Good defense, number six. Good. 
Good job, really good job. What I would usually do is have them change their jersey colors so that teams are together. So basically the team that inbounds it is encouraged to inbound the ball quickly. So you'd have like maybe two white teams, two blue teams, they work together and try to make it work. Obviously if you have more players, then you can have more teams of two, which you can really get like eight players maybe, or, or six players of, of white, six players of blue, and you can make it a competitive score, okay? So you guys are good to sit down real quick. Those are some drill ideas for workouts. Now I'm going to show you what an individual workout looks like, a great idea. Um, who is uh, who thinks they're pretty talented? Who thinks they, they can handle a good amount of, uh, of a drill? 11? Okay, 11's out here, 9 you're rebounding real quick. Can I get one more basketball? And then everybody else, you guys can sit out real quick and you're good. Thank you guys. So what you're going to do is we're going to review everything we did and we're going to put it into a little, we're going to do a, a six minute drill. Okay, I'm not going to make it more than six minutes. You're over here. So what you're going to do is, first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on those, those wide pin down reads. Which means the first one's going to be a curl. Bang, catch and shoot, curl. After you shoot it, it doesn't matter, make or miss, you go back over to the corner and you move to the next one. So it doesn't matter if you make or miss. Next one is going to be curl, one dribble. Catch the ball, keep it off your chest, get somewhere and go. Third one is going to be catch, one dribble, floater. Fourth one is going to be you're in this corner, we're going to do that pop, bang, catch and shoot. And then the fifth one is pop, one dribble, shot, or one dribble, floater, either one. And then you'd keep going, curl, curl, one dribble. You're going to do that for 30 seconds on this side, and then 30 seconds on that side. That's one minute. Then we go up here, and we're going to do the ball screen reads. I'm going to set the screen. You're going to come off, do the pocket jump shot. You're going to do the tight wrap, and then you're going to do the inside out. And then you're going to do the reject. We're just going to do those four, okay? Then the reject's right there. You'll rotate those four, 30 seconds and 30 seconds, okay? So now we're at two minutes. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to catch the ball anywhere outside the three-point line, and we're going to have the ball in triple threat. And all I want you to do is any kind of jab, anything like that in the pull-up. So you could be jab, bang, one dribble, get back, maybe catch over here, maybe this time it's bang, use your chest, bang. You're just doing jabs and working on kind of one or two triple pull-ups out of your triple threat series. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, now we're at three minutes. Then I'm going to toss you the ball, you got to be behind this peach line, and you got to do one-on-one -on -one moves for 30 seconds on each side. So you might come down, you might be here, quick, pull-up. Then you got to back up, get back here. Next time you might go, behind the back, bang, shot, whatever you want. And I'm not going to show you anything to do, just 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Four minutes. Next thing, you got to play defense. So we're going to be down here, you're going to do a quick defensive slide, touch the key, bang, sprint up and go catch and shoot shot. And get back to the block, defensive slide, catch and shoot shot. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, now we're at 5 minutes. The last minute all you're going to do is catch and shoot threes. Just catch and shoot, move, catch and shoot, move, catch and shoot, keep going back and forth around the three point line. You're rebounding the whole time, I'm passing the whole time. In 6 minutes our goal, we're going to put it at... Uh, Let's get like 45. Okay, if you get 45, that'd be really good. I want you guys to count for him how many makes. Okay, so you guys count how many makes. 45 is our goal. We're going six minutes starting at 8.30. Ready? Good, go, curl. Nice, catch and shoot. Curl one dribble next, curl one dribble next. Good, curl one dribble, one dribble, good. Curl one dribble floater, one. Good, curl one dribble floater. Nice. Pop, pop, two. Come on, pop. Good. Catch and shoot. Good. Pop one dribble baseline. Three. Way to shoot. Way to shoot. Grip. Good. Curl, curl. Good. Curl. Curl one dribble. Curl one dribble. Good. Other side. Other side. Really good. Curl. Curl. We got a curl. Here we go. Curl. Nice. Catch and shoot. Good. One dribble pull up. One dribble pull up. Good. One dribble pull up. Nice job. One dribble floater, you're okay, battle through, battle through, come on. You're doing great, you're doing great. Good, pop, pop, good, come on, knock it down. Good, pop one dribble, pop one dribble, good. Nice job, good, curl, curl, curl. What's he at right now? Good, five, here we go, curl one dribble. Ball screen, this side, here we go, ball screen, this side. Pocket jump shot, pocket jump shot, come on. Get to the pocket, get to the pocket, bang, good, come on, pocket J. Good, tight wrap, tight wrap, come on, same thing. Tight wrap, tight wrap, come on. Good, wrap, wrap, wrap it. Remember, wrap it to the space, wrap it to the space. 
Come off right here. Wrap all the way over there. Get over there. Get over there. Nice. Now we got the inside out. Now we got the inside out. Get the inside out. Take it. Go. You're doing great, buddy. You're doing great. Nice. Get the reject. Get the reject. Reject. Start to climb. Reject. Dang. Good. Other side. Other side. Pocket jump shot. Good. Pocket J. Pocket J. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Nice. You don't have block. Keep pushing. 
And the point is, how you worked his butt off, but that's how you should work out every six minutes. And if you can get your players to buy in and do that all summer, then you're gonna have a hell of a program next year. The problem is people don't know what real work looks like. People think real work is just being in a gym. And that's not the truth. I told you guys yesterday, Kyle Porter works on max 30 minutes, because that's what his 30 minutes looks like. And after 30 minutes of that, imagine if I had 24 minutes left for you. You'd pass out. I had a guy last week in pre-draft that's gonna be a top 10 pick, I'm not gonna say his name, he passed out. I was okay, I got him to say, manager, get him some water, we got a couple things left we gotta do. He got back up, he started working, he'd be a top 10 pick, he'll make millions of dollars, because what happens is mentally, you push through that. And then physically, you start getting in shape where you can get through it, and then eventually, you're just such a different animal up top that you just non-stop go. And I tell all my guys, we're creating monsters, when that other guy is you know, in a workout with you and you're playing for millions of dollars trying to see where you get drafted, that other guy's not used to battling that pain. And so if you give him that pain, experiencing that, what's gonna happen at the end of the workout, he falls. I've got a weird belief that like LeBron James, Corey Bryant, they don't really step up in the clutch. What happens is everybody else just gets tired. If you look at shooting percentages, if you look at uh, their, their points per possession, None of their points for possession or any of their shoot percentages go up. What happens, the other guys just wear down. And they can consistently do what they've done at the beginning of the game in the fourth quarter because they've worked their butts off. There was a funny story, and I'll tell it quick. I know I'm going to go over time, and I never pay attention to time anyway. But Al Harrington was telling us a story about Kobe Bryant. He said that one of the years he was leaning down at the free throw line at the end of the season, there was a couple games left. And Kobe Bryant asked Al Harrington, he said, Al, what'd you do all that summer? He said, man, I didn't really do nothing, man. I was just in the gym working. He said, great, this summer, put the ball down and just run the whole summer, you're fat. He said, he's like, damn, that's Cody Bryant. So he said, yo, hey, listen, I'll be in LA. I'll get in the gym with you. I'll show you how to work it. So he showed up to Kobe's house. It's a true story. He's telling us this at dinner. So he showed up to Kobe's house. He said, at 6 a.m. He said, from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., they worked on basketball. He said, I didn't even make it through the, the two hours. I had to, like, stop for 45 minutes, get a drink. Kobe went two hours nonstop. Afterwards, I was like, woo, that was some good work. He said, now it's time to lift. He went in the weight room. He said, he went another about an hour and a half, two hours in the weight room. He was like, God damn, Kobe, you're killing me, man. That's some good shit. Now I saw you're so great. He said, we haven't done our cardio yet. He went, said, started running. Al said, I didn't run one time. I was dead. I didn't have anything left in me. And he said, that's when I realized why Kobe was a different animal. He just never stopped. It was just get better, get better, get better mentality. And because of that, other people just don't know how to react. When adversity hits, he doesn't see adversity because he's been dealing with adversity through workouts all summer. And, and I'm telling you guys, if you guys can get your players to work as hard as he did, man, you're going to have a special unit. And a lot of times when I do pre-draft stuff, these guys don't know what real work is. They, and my saying in pre-draft is, hate me now, thank me later. They can hate me now. We're going to have disagreements. There's a lot of times where I hear F you, Drew, all the time. That's like a little slogan. If I got trademark, I'd be rich as much as they use it. But the thing is, I don't mind if they cuss at me. I don't mind if they yell at me. I don't mind if they hate me. Eventually, they're going to love me because I'm going to do what they need to do to get better and prepare. For you guys, I would highly encourage, highly encourage, if you take nothing that I taught yesterday, none of the drills I did today, if you can change your players' work habits and make them work out like that, I promise you will get way better than any drill, any skill, any teaching point that I gave you in the last two days. Okay? That's what NBA guys do on a daily basis. They do it for 45 minutes, then they get to an hour, then they get to whatever. But I always say you should be able to put your number of playing minutes up on the scoreboard, and within two timeouts, you should be able to finish the whole thing. So if I want to play 33 minutes a game next year, put 33 minutes up, I get two timeouts to finish it. Each timeout is a minute. So I get two breaks for one minute during that 33 minutes, and I think I can play 33 minutes. If you go full speed like that, like for you, how many minutes a game do you want to play? How many minutes do you play a game? 30 minutes? So he got about six minutes done, which is great. That means, in my opinion, he's ready for about 18 minutes a game. Fatigue-wise, cardio-wise, if he wants to play 100% the entire game. Because he could take a minute break, and I'm betting he could probably get to maybe four or five minutes next time, and then maybe another four or five minutes. But if he can get to the point where he puts up that 30 minutes, he can get through that with two timeouts, damn, he's a hell of a player, okay? A couple of resources I'm going to leave you guys with. First off, I know a lot of you guys asked my email address. I'm going to give you my personal email address because if I use my kind of company website, I'm not going to reply to it. So it's Drew, D-R-E-W, at P 
puresweatbasketball.com. P-U-R-E, the word sweat, S-W-A-T, basketball.com. Drew, D-R-E-W, at puresweatbasketball.com. If you have any questions, I will be glad to answer them. Just hit me up. Let me, let me know that you're at this clinic so that I reply, and I'll get back to you. Okay, I promise you I will. Second thing, I told you guys, right now we're running a, a special. We just opened it back up because of this. If you go to puresweatbasketball.com, you will see Alan sign my app. We have an app that has, I have 450 instructional videos on there. Alan's got another 250. It's got all of our drills, all of our workouts, and then programs. So you can see, like, if I was a true point guard, follow the true point guard program. It has everything based on numbers that NBA guys do. So if you want to play like Steph Curry, you click the Steph Curry program, the, the true point guard program, and it takes you through the exact percentages that Steph Curry would do. So there's the program that some of you guys are asking about. It's got literally everything on there. It's got team features. It's got everything. So if you go on there, it's free. You don't have to put in anything. Uh, just email, first name, last name, and set up your password if you're on there. Okay, if you have any questions on that, again, email me and I can get you rolling on that. So that's the second thing. Third thing on Twitter, I know a lot of you guys have Twitter. Rich has been talking about it, but Better Basketball, Alan Stein, and myself at Pure Sweat. Uh, all of us tweet out tons of valuable things as far as just trying to share as much as we can. I know for me, every time I'm in a layover in an airport, which is like two times a week at least, um, I start doing question and answer sessions. Um, and those are very good just to pick, because a lot of times I'm talking to other coaches that are really good minded too, and we can end up having good basketball conversations. The last thing, and this is the thing that I really want you to see, so the app is something I would highly encourage you guys to use and stuff like that, because again, it's free, you can check it out. But there's one more thing, and I think this is big, and I don't know if Alan's touched on this or not, but if I were you guys, I would start getting some kind of mentorship, whether it's with you and a group of coaches that are in your area, whether it's you want to do something, if you're a strength coach, want to do Alan Science, kind of stronger team nation, which is very business oriented, very kind of helping players, <coughs> whether I have an all access program that is all my video on demand, where I do all my voiceovers for all my NBA guys, but whether it's you with a group of buddies, whether it's you doing stuff with you know, Alan, with myself, with Rich, with anybody, I would highly encourage you guys to get a group of mentors that you can talk to on a weekly or monthly basis that help you expand your knowledge and grow your game. Because I think, in my opinion, the biggest reason why I've been able to find a little success in my area is just because I've been able to listen to all the people that have given me advice. I used to go fly around the country even when I had no money. I'd use all of my bank account to get to a coach that might have had more experience and I would go sit at these coaches and offer to buy her lunch just so I could steal as much as I could from them. And eventually I stole enough from enough people that I kind of formulated my own philosophy and enough plan where I had my thing. But I'm not one of those guys that has big an ego that says I made up this stuff. No, it's just I saw it on film or I stole it from somebody else and improved it on film. But for you guys, I would highly encourage you guys to get some kind of mentorship, whether it's somebody just a friend, a buddy, or a group of buddies, or if it's something more kind of a strict resume, as far as a stronger team or my personal access or anything on the better basketball access. But just do something to encourage you guys to grow. Because I'm telling you guys, for me, the, key that, the thing that keeps me up, the thing that drives me crazy is when somebody tells me something I've never seen before. It drives me crazy. Because if somebody says, I told Dan I learned the 45 degree angle trick, and I got pissed when Tim Gergridge, who's a great basketball mind, showed it to me. And I was like, I gotta rewatch every single post clip that I've ever watched because I need to learn more about the 45 degree trick. And then I started learning more and more because I just watched it over again with a different eye. And so for you guys, I would encourage you guys to do that because the details matter. And if you get them to work out with purpose, you're gonna have a really, really, really good season next year. Thank you guys for having me.